Hello and welcome to Gardening at 58 North. So in this video I'd like to show you my most stunning begonia here. I'm going to give you an update on how it's been doing and also repot it as well. So this begonia here is a type of begonia rex and the variety is Vesuvius. Now it looks completely artificial and the colour as well looks probably on camera like it, it's not real at all but I can assure you this is genuinely what it looks like in real life. The camera is it's reproducing the colour pretty well. You can see I haven't put any filters on or anything, everything else is normal colour. But this is genuinely what this looks like. It is one of the most unusual plants that I have. A really weird colour. I don't know any other plants that have this black or this red. And it doesn't have any green on it whatsoever. So this is, as I say, a begonia. So I just grow it like most of my begonias. I give it a little bit more light levels than most though, because begonias tend to like lower light levels. But I find if you give this a lower light level, you don't get that such an intense colour. The colours are a bit faded, the black's not as dark, the red's not as vibrant. It also has this really unusual shiny appearance as well. So you can see that on the camera, it almost looks white in places because it's so shiny. So it's incredibly glossy. Even the black bits have a bit of a shine to them as well. So you not only have that incredible dark red, which looks bright in certain conditions with the reflections, but you also have this really kind of black colour, which almost looks like a matte black, but occasionally when you tilt it, it has this kind of weird shiny appearance. So it is a really unusual leaf. Now, the best colour is on these new ones here. You can see these newer leaves are really quite vibrant, really nice looking. Probably a matter of opinion if it's nice looking, it's quite an unusual plant. You look at some of these older leaves, you can see the red goes a bit more of a pink colour and the black doesn't look quite as vibrant, but it still looks particularly spectacular. So as I say, this is Begonia Vesuvius, a really unusual plant, and the more light you give it, the more blacks that are gonna appear on this, and the more vibrant and dark the red's going to look, so. So a very unusual plant of mine. So I've had this for five years now, I've never repotted it, and it's always grown relatively okay for me. One thing that did happen to it once is it just went dormant for about six months, almost maybe more like eight months, didn't grow at all. I thought it had maybe died, but it has these rhizomes that it grows from. The rhizomes are on the surface of the pot, so you can see them under here. These rhizomes never shriveled up and died, so I thought it might come through. So I just gave it some colder conditions, around 10 degrees Celsius for a few months over winter, and then kept it dry, started watering it again. It came back growing, no problems at all. But now we're getting to the stage where you can see the rhizomes on the surface are starting to escape out of the pot. It really needs repotting, 10 years in the same soil mix it definitely needs a refresh. So I'm gonna go ahead now and repot this. So this is the pot it's been in for the last 10 years. The outer pot is just to stop the water from escaping and also to make it look nicer. So what I need to do is cut off these roots that are coming out the bottom because there's no way I can take this out of the existing pot without ripping them off. So first of all, I'll trim them off. And then we'll have a look at the, the root system. You can see there, that's the, the name tag for it. Vesuvius is the is the variety. So we'll take it out of the pot now and we'll see how the root system looks. Now it's been in here a long time, five years, so it should be quite pot bound. You can see there, although there's not that many active roots covering the surface, I think there's a lot of older roots which have rotted off over time, and there's not a lot of active growth on these roots, so it definitely isn't the healthiest. You can see around this side though, a lot more active growth, so it definitely needs repotting. You can also see some of these fresher uh, rhizomes starting to grow there so I think covering this up with a bit more soil letting these rhizomes root down into the new compost so you've got these older ones here for example which are out the soil they're not really growing strongly I think once we put some soil around them they'll send down some new roots I'm not going to bury them I'm just going to have the soil resting on the half of them so they're going to be half buried just basically resting on top of the soil once these have got more soil around them they put out new roots and I think we'll get a lot more growth so I'll show you which pot I'm using for this I'm going to be using a two litre pot it's currently in probably less than a, than, a, than a litre pot, so it's going to be more than double the size that it'll be growing in. And when it comes to soil mix, begonias like quite a rich compost and they like it to hold plenty of moisture, so I'm just going to use this mix here. This is a mix I've made myself. It's just very rich multi-purpose compost, so it's going to hold lots of moisture, give it the, the water it needs. But I've also added in a reasonable amount, probably about one-fifth of perlite, just to make sure it's free draining and loose. Because if it's not free draining enough, there is a risk that the roots could rot off. Although they do like a lot of water and they don't like to fully dry out, they do need to have enough drainage that the roots don't rot. So I'm just going to put a bit of compost in the bottom now. Just get it to the level that we need. And then I'll just double check the height. I think that's around about right. And then I'm just going to place the plant inside. And then just carefully fill around the outside with the compost. Now looking at this, all the rhizomes are growing in one direction. You can see at this side, 
there's no active rhizomes growing and they're all facing the other direction so what I'm actually going to do instead of putting this in the middle of the pot this is going to be on the edge and so all the new growth will grow a pot across the pot and colonize it better so that's going to go right in the corner there and all the new soil will come around the front and that way it'll continue growing instead of this growing straight into the edge of a pot it's got a lot more space to grow and the far side where there isn't any active growth it doesn't need that soil so that's why it's going on the edge of the pot So I'll now go ahead and gently firm down the compost, make sure there's no large air spaces. I don't want to push it down too hard though, because we don't want to push out all the, the tiny air spaces, just any large pockets that might not be compacted down, so they can still grow its roots easily and have enough drainage and airflow for the roots. So that's the begonia now in its new pot. Now as this is a rex type of begonia, the leaves can get a lot larger than what they are at the moment. These leaves are quite small considering it's a, it's a rex begonia. That's probably because it's been in quite a small pot. So I'm expecting quite a lot bigger leaves. I might do a future update just to let you know how big the leaves get. I'm expecting it to grow much better now it's in a larger pot. So that's all for this video. I hope you guys have liked it. As I say, this is begonia rex vesuvius. Really unusual colours on the leaves. The most unusual begonia I think that there is. Um, I'm not, I don't know if it's my favourite begonia because I do find it is a little artificial in appearance and it's really a begonia that you either love or you hate. For me personally, I'm kind of in between. I'm not such a big fan of such extreme unusual colours in leaves but it's more of a curiosity and that's why I'm growing it just because it's such an unusual plant and I don't have anything else that comes anywhere near this kind of colour palette. So that's all for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.